Death is such a cruel thing, isn't it? Sometimes it comes fast and unexpectedly. Sometimes it lingers around for days, months, even years, like a predator stalking its prey until it strikes. But no matter how it attacks, it always causes the same pain. Some say they've met death before, whether they grazed his fingertips in a life-threatening situation or they saw him standing at the foot of a loved one's deathbed. No one ever believes those who claim to have met him. How could something as non-existent yet life-changing as death have a physical form in this world? It's a simple fairy tale no one believes. But I believe them. Sometimes I can feel the weight of death's presence on my shoulders. He has been hovering over my family for two years now, targeting a boy who has done nothing but love the world. For that, I will never forgive him. My dear brother Elijah, he's the last person who deserves the pain and suffering. I wonder, if I could talk to death, could I prevent what's to come? Hey Eli, I brought you those cat candies you wanted. They were on sale at the grocery store, so I got a whole box. Don't tell mom and dad though. Really? You better not have eaten any or else we're gonna have problems. But thank you for buying them. I won't tell mom and dad. Good! How are you feeling? Bored. I've been stuck watching dark detectives all day, and honestly, it kinda sucks. Oh yeah, that show's awful. By the way, Marcus and David wanted me to tell you that your homeroom class misses you, and hope you get better soon. I think they're writing cards too, so look forward to that. <laughs> they're the best. I can't wait. Hey, you okay? <coughs> yeah, I'm okay. Don't worry. I'm going to die, aren't I? Of course not. Don't say things like that. You're gonna be fine. Will I really, Gabby? I've been stuck in here for God knows how long. The doctors say I'm not getting any better. I don't think I'll ever get out of here. You will. Someday this will all be a bad memory. Just focus on getting better, okay? Because soon you'll be walking out of here and you won't have to watch another episode of Dark Detectives ever again. I promise. Hmm. If you say so. Good. Now I have to get home and work on some dumb project Miss Everett assigned the class. Mom will be by later, okay? Try not to miss me too much. Trust me, I won't. Hey! See if I ever buy you candy again. Bye, Eli. <laughs> Bye, Gabby. Eli, I know you're in pain, but you'll be all right. Just hold on a little longer. Your big sister is going to save you. I'm going to find death and make him spare you. Then you can come home and everything will be okay. I promise. The search for death was bound to be difficult. How could I possibly find an entity as elusive as death? This was all under the assumption he even existed. If he doesn't, I didn't want to think about that. Finding information on death wasn't nearly as hard as I thought it would be. There were a couple of online forums detailing people's experiences while meeting him. For the most part, they were people who almost died and claimed to see him an almost a skeletal face of an old man. Some claimed to see a shadowy figure next to a dying loved one, but no one ever had spoken to him. I lost countless hours of sleep researching. Nothing I found was very useful, yet I tried anyways. Sometimes when I was awake, I could hear my parents arguing. Sometimes they'd blame each other for my brother's poor health. Sometimes they'd be upset that the other wasn't doing enough. Sometimes they'd yell about money issues, but most of the time they'd simply cry. They never knew I could hear everything. Elijah's condition wasn't getting better. Every day I could see him losing more and more of his strength. He always insisted he was alright, giving us that same sweet smile he had since he was a kid. But I know better. I see the color leaving his skin, I see the bones become more visible. I see his hair grow long and matted. It hurts so bad. 
to see my little brother, who was once full of life and joy, be reduced to a weak husk of his former self. Every day he slips further and further from my reach. Every day I pray, cry, plead, do everything in my power to get me closer to saving him. He's dying. He's dying. He's dying and he's dying because of me. This is all because of me. Please, death, if you're out there, I beg you, save my brother from this fate. Maybe the stories were lies after all. It was foolish of me to believe death was a real person. I'm sorry, Elijah. I'm sorry I failed you. Huh? Who's that? No way, it can't be. Elijah, I will be able to save you after all. You poor thing. Domestic cats like you shouldn't die in other ways like this. I'm sorry your life ended this way. May you find peace in the great beyond. Hey, stop it! Don't you dare try to run away, or we're gonna have problems. You and I have some serious business. Oh? You can see me. How unusual. I haven't been seen in a while. Don't change the subject. You, you're death, right? Ah, you know my name. Yes, I am death. I knew it! So you killed that person in the hospital. You're the one killing my brother. What is your name? Huh? What is your name? You know mine, I'd like to know yours. It's Gabriella. Ah, Gabriella. Earlier you said we have business. What is it? I... I need you to spare my brother. For two years now, you've caused him so much suffering. He's extremely ill. The doctors have tried everything, but he keeps getting worse. He doesn't have much time left. The sweetest boy I've ever known is dying because of you. This is all your fault, so fix your mistakes. Please, I'm begging you. Don't take him away from me. Let him live. He's only 14. Gabriella, I understand why you can see me now. Many others have met me in the past and lived to tell the tale. Some meet me when they almost die, yet it isn't their time to go. Some meet me when a loved one is passing away. Your ability to see me is born from your willpower to save your brother. It has been a long time since I've met someone as determined as you. I'm truly sorry I can't make your efforts worthwhile. Huh? What do you mean? You... You can save him! You can save him, right? You have to! Unfortunately, I cannot save your brother. The cycle of life cannot be broken. No, no! No, I won't accept that! You can save my brother! All you have to do is not kill him! You murderer! How can you take the life of a child? I do not wish to take your brother from you. Then don't! Please don't take him from me! I cannot do that. I'm sorry, little one. But his time is coming to an end. His soul is done fighting. He has accepted what is going to happen. In fact, a small part of him wants to pass away. No! You're wrong! Even if I allow him to live, he shall continue to suffer. There is nothing I can do for him. I promise. I promised Elijah he would be okay. What kind of a sister would I be if I didn't make that happen? What kind of a sister would I be if I allowed him to die? My baby brother. I can't lose you. I can't stand the thought of never seeing your smile again. But I haven't seen you truly happy in a long time, haven't I? All this time you've been in so much pain. You've put on a brave face for everyone, yet you always knew things would end this way, didn't you? It must have been scary. I'm so sorry I wasn't there for you. I'm sorry I couldn't get rid of your pain, but maybe I can still do something for you. If death is going to take you. I hate to leave you like this, 
but death can't stop for anyone. Do it peacefully. Excuse me? If you must kill Elijah, then please, do it peacefully. He's been suffering for so long. I beg you, make sure his last moments are painless. That's all I ask. I can do that. Mom? Dad? It's okay, honey. We're here. You're going to be okay. No, he won't be okay. I'm sorry, Elijah. I'm sorry I couldn't have saved you, but at least you won't have to die in pain. Huh? A piano? Where did that come from? He's gone. He's really gone, and there's nothing I could have done about it. But I'm glad you could spend your last moments in bliss, remembering me, remembering us. This feels familiar. I've been here before, but not like this. Elijah, is this how you felt all those years ago? I'm sure it is. Only I was blessed with a long life, while you had barely started yours. I can't wait to meet you again, little brother. A piano? Where is it coming from? It sounds just like... I see. Thank you. Hey everyone, JJX Drawing here. I hope you guys enjoyed my short film, The Grand Piano of Life. A lot of time and effort was put into producing this film over the span of a month. The process was difficult, and there were many times when I thought I couldn't finish it in time, but everything turned out okay. In the end, it was all worth it. Huge shout out to AJ and Luke, who voice acted Gabriella and Death respectively. Thank you guys so much, this would not have been possible without you. I seriously appreciate it so much. Another shout out to the apps I used to bring this film to life, and my iPad for getting no break over the past four weeks. And, of course, shout out to my creative writing teachers who assigned this project. That's all I had to say. Be sure to check the description for more information about the film and my socials. See you next time!